So, but I'm very pleased to have you here. Uh, this seminar is co-organized by SDI, the Slum Builders International, uh, by SELAR, SKL, uh, the Swedish Local Government Association, and the Symbio City Secretariat. Uh, and it's the first of its kind. We're very, very happy that the delegation from SDI are here uh, and that they're taking the opportunity to share with us some of their experiences and lessons from the field. My name is Mats. I work uh, as an urban advisor at SKL and I'll take you through this session as a moderator. Um, we thought that, uh, when I looked at the, the list of participants here, I saw that most of you actually work very concretely either within the field of urban development or within the field of social sustainability or social inclusion. Uh, so I think I don't need to talk to you about how important the social aspect is in urban sustainability. Uh, I think you all know that already. Uh, and I think you also know a bit about how difficult it might be to get this right. Uh, in Sweden we're often quite proud of the environmental journey that we've done uh, in terms of transforming our city into environmentally sustainable uh, urban areas. But I think we know that the challenge that we're facing now is that of social sustainability and how do we make cohesive societies. And this, I think, especially is an area where we have a lot to learn from each other and a lot to learn from countries outside of Europe. Uh, and this is the purpose and the focus of this breakfast seminar, uh, to discuss and learn from our colleagues from SDI what has worked in Kenya, in the Philippines, in South Africa. Uh, these are people who are working every day all around the world. I saw on the subway, who, who's in the subway commercial? All of you. It's an excellent <laughs> way of communicating what you do. You're working in about 33 countries, 458 cities and some 6-7 thousand urban settlements. So it's a huge body of experience and wisdom uh, that you can share with us. Uh, and we'll be focusing on two pretty concrete questions today. One is that of building trust. How do we build trust between local governments and communities? Uh, or between communities and communities, or between different urban stakeholders. Uh, so how do we build trust, which is so fundamental for cities to work? Um, and the second one is how do we co-produce a city? We're talking a lot about participation often, but co-production is a very important element in what SDI is doing. So how do we get co-production, where it's not just the local government trying to get somebody on board, but it's actually all of us sitting together and trying to produce the city and, and shape it together. Uh, before we start, I wanted to invite Nayoka Martinez Beckstrom, uh, who's a project manager at SIDA for SDI, and she's been a supporter of SDI for many, many years. SIDA is also the biggest supporter uh, of SDI. So I thought you could just tell us really brief, briefly uh, why SDI is so important and what it means to SIDA. Thank you. Good morning. So as Matt says, I represent CEDA. Uh, CEDA is the agency that is responsible for implementing the development cooperation policy of the Swedish government. And Sweden is one of the most generous uh, development cooperation partners in the world. Um, <clears throat> the, the objective of CEDA is to create the conditions to enable people living in poverty and oppression to improve their own lives. And this one applies even in our work in urban areas. And um, um, it, it's very easy to see that the organization Slum Dwellers International, SDI, fits so well into achieving just this objective. Um, I have personally had the, the experience of seeing their work on the ground. My colleagues who have worked with SDI uh, this, the cooperation with SDI has also done that. Uh, CEDA has supported SDI on project basis from the late 1990s to uh, the early 2000. And then in 2009, we started having a global agreement with SDI, which allows us to follow and support the whole work of the network. 
and this has helped us as well support SDI when they needed um, technical cooperation in the areas of financial management, uh, strengthening of the management systems, um, capacity development of the networks. Um, <clears throat> you have to understand that they do these things themselves. Um, they facilitate the learning themselves. Um, they are built based on uh, savings groups, which is a very solid um, uh, foundation to build your movements on, your, your methods on, your approaches on. And I'm, I'm very pleased that this dialogue is with uh, uh, Salar, because SDI is an expert in negotiating with local governments. And they come with their evidence, with their data, and with their experiences. So I think there is a lot that we can, we as Swedes can learn from the SDI experience because the work they do towards uh, local governments is, is done in these 34 countries where, where they are operating in. So as CEDA, we're very proud to be a partner of SDI and that we could bring SDI here for them to share their experiences with the Swedish public. So looking forward to this day and welcome everyone. <laughs>